The new season only moments away. But which team will stamp their authority on this one today? We will soon find out. Stay tuned for all the action. A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Real Madrid taking on Chelsea. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And the main goal scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. stands between the posts. Kalidou Koribali plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Denis Zakaria plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. to look forward to Chelsea get it underway Kukureya Mount Kai Havertz on the ball Zakaria Kukureya well possibilities in the centre can he get the shot off and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Rudiger. An example of how to press. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Aurelien Chouameni. This is Kroos. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Zakaria. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And very deftly cut out. Tony Kors. Rudiger. On the ball, Rudiger. Carvajal. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Modric. David Alaba. That's a good looking ball. Simple for the keeper dealing with that long range effort. 
possibilities. Well, it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well, it's a difficult skill, and on this occasion, he can't quite pull it off. Just didn't hit it cleanly enough. Losing possession a bit easily. Rudiger. This is Kroos. Mendy. Vinicius Jr. Oh, blocked it! Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. Kukureya. It's with Kuribali. Mateo Kovacic. In behind for him to chase. Mount. And the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Determined defending. Carvajal. Valverde. Now with Benzema. Federico Valverde. At times they make passing look easy. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And over it comes. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Ziyech. Ziyech In it goes! The goal for 1-0 and that changes the dynamic Well here we can see it again and no wonder the manager is furious they just have to get tighter here deal with the danger Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Aurelien Chouameni. Here's Carvajal. Mendy Tony Kroos Aurelien Chouameni Modric Carvajal And it goes to square the game What a contest this is turning out to be Well as the replay shows this is all about his ability to find space in the box which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Havertz. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Mendy 
Who can he pick out? Course. Well, great read there to intercept. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he's certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Crossing opportunity. Benzema. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. And fired over by Kroos. Still alive. Kroos. nonsense clearance well Real have to make the most of this dominant period and don't these fans know it just listen to them could be what a vital intervention Zakaria now to play Real Madrid throw here Valverde Mendy has it so plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here and they kick the ball advantage Chelsea wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Oh, there's some real concern looks from the bench, I have to tell you, because he's landed right on top of his elbow, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. Over it comes, attending to his defensive chores. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Well, Real Madrid have certainly had all the possession over the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Not much time to make up his mind. And into the last 30 minutes now. It has to be! Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. I'm trying his luck with the header, but too much elevation. And they're making a change. Kai Havertz and Mount attacking possibilities for Chelsea Felix 
Intercepting it intelligently. Vinicius Junior. Aurelia Chouameni giving the ball to the opposition that time Ziyech on the ball Joao Felix and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end well these Real fans are driving their team forward here just listen to this noise they can sense a winner coming Over the touchline for what will be a Real Madrid throw. Substitution for Real Madrid. This attack looks highly promising. And the cross goes in. They couldn't maintain possession. Showing a lot of guile there. Could take the lead. Oh, good work by the keeper. Just 15 minutes remaining. Plenty of options. And a good-looking ball. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Perhaps an opportunity here for Real Madrid to take the lead. Corner. Delivering it. No trouble at all as far as the... Keeper was concerned. Benzema. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say the good value for the lead. from the replay it's the perfect through ball from Vinny and Benzema wasn't going to miss this one from that sort of range he was always going to score that's a well constructed goal well a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Zakaria Joao Felix Time is against Chelsea, but they can still battle back. Terrific block. And Kai Havertz, great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. short corner and Kroos gets in the way of the cross a corner kick and who knows this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser over it comes it might still be problematic well they can bring it out now Marco Asensio. Eder Militao. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Oh, that's a really good run. Opportunity. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Koulibaly. 
Kukureya. We're getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Surely! Oh, it's an unbelievable save by Courtois! to pick out a teammate the chance is on well really making the goalkeeper's life simple that should be hit in the back of the net that was a big big chance Tony Kors now Eder Militao and there's the full time whistle maximum points for Real Madrid well Derek it was very competitive chances at both ends but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory A positive night's work for Karim Benzema. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he was a real nuisance today. He always looked a threat, and of course he got the winner. He was probably the difference between the two teams. Planeta Mercurio y el año de la serpiente Signo patente tatuado y en mi frente Que en el vientre de mi madre marca el paso siguiente Nacer llorar sin anestesia en la camilla Mi padre solo dijo es Ana María Si sí sería el primer gato que me probaría Que mandó las heridas y de la batería Solía ser entonces como un libro abierto Pero leí la letra pequeña del texto Como un arquitecto construyendo cada efecto Correcto, incorrecto, se aprende todo al respecto Saber que algunas personas quieren el daño Subir perdaño toma tiempo, toma año Con mi peluche mirando lo cotidiano Dibujos transformaban el invierno en gran verano Papá me regaló bajo mi insistencia Un juego que trataba de compartir la sorpresa Pero en el patio hicieron la competencia Fue cuando sentí mi primera impotencia 1970 y... 1970 y... 1970 1977 No me diga no, no lo presiento Todo lo que cambia lo hará diferente En el año que nace la serpiente 1977 No me diga no, que no lo presiento Todo lo que cambia lo hará diferente En el año que nace la serpiente Fue una etapa avisar, el cuerpo es batería y la cabeza quitar. La orquesta narra una tonada quebrada para la mirada de una niña que solo talla espada. Hormona disparada sobre pobladas de información que cambian temporadas. Caminas en crucijada, cada cual en su morada preparaba la carnada, la sagrada diablada de mirada. 
Mi fila, la verdad, nunca buscó su silla. Mi búsqueda fue mero proceso de pura pila. Pupila de poeta que marcó nuestra saliva en la cordillera. A new beginning, the opening match day of the season, and a keen sense of optimism enveloping everyone. Who will come out on top? It's Inter. They face Paris Saint Germain, and it's coming up live here on EA TV. And hello from one of the great venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Inter against Paris Saint Germain. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully, we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. And this is how it looks for Inter. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And now they get the ball rolling. And they need to get tighter. And Neymar! He's failed to hold it, Neymar. Dumfries. Skriniar. On the ball, Bastoni. Di Marco. On to Mkhitaryan. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Martinez! There it is! And just the ideal start! This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure that his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Marquinhos. Determined defending. Hendrik Mikitarian. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Chance to cross. Dzeko. And a very good challenge. Doing well to keep possession. Ramos. Now with Hakimi. Messi. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Alessandro Bastoni. Back now to the goalkeeper. 
De Frey. It's with Milan Skriniar. Mkhitaryan. And space to cross it. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Lionel Messi. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? It's got to be! And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Short option preferred. Lost possession. Mbappe. Well, no way through. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? This could level it, and danger still. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. And he has options available. Takes on the shot. Well, the goalkeeper managed to make the save without much difficulty in the end. Mbappe. Making progress is Kylian Mbappe. A chance to whip it in. And Neymar, and a chance to level it. Oh, a superb save. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Martinez. Has a go. And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. And there's the delivery. It's not a particularly good corner there. And he takes it away. Mbappe. Dumfries. They've regained possession and clears his lines. Now, what can Inter do from this position? Great opportunity and a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Tino here, and the ball is moving again. Fabian. Neymar. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Could pull one back here. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end.
And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. Well, we don't often say this, do we? But Kylian Mbappe hasn't had too much to say for himself, Stuart. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas. And that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. And back in business here, it was a dominant performance from Inter in the first 45. What will the second half have in store for us? Well, visionary passing. And the keeper had the measure of it. single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Verratti and Neymar possession regained by Verratti Fabian and a strong glove on the ball from the keeper Barella, now far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Charanoru. Lukaku in position. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Nicely timed tackle. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. Neymar. On to Messi. And PSG pushing forward with options available. The cross is on. Verratti. On to Fabian. Federico Di Marco. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Martinez. Chalanoro. And a goal. What a magnificent display. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And the ball is rolling again. It's been all into so far, and you sense that there could be extra punishment handed out. Fabian. Here's Mbappe. Messi. And the keeper has it now. Skriniar. Now Brozovic. Barella. And he keeps going. Lukaku in position. And problem solved for now. Neymar. No. 
Ferreira. Fabián. Is this the moment? That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Fired in by Neymar. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Chalanolu. Now, who can he play it to? It's a perfect challenge. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Alessandro Bastoni. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Verratti, here's Mbappe, well not quite what he wanted to do with the pass Lukaku well no stopping him but really sticking to the task defensively this might be ideal for the counter well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Being pressed and pressed high. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Substitution it is for PSG. Martinez and well, they could run onto it here an example of how to press Marco Verratti Neymar Verratti now Messi Well, totaling up all the stoppages we'll have two additional minutes I well, couldn't bend his run and the flag went up PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front So the final whistle has sounded and a boost for the Nerazzurri. Three points for Inter. Your verdict? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, we tend to expect production from Hakan Chalanolu. That's what we got. Stuart, what did you make of his contribution? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.